on behalf of at least one American, not Donald Trump, I know. Denmark. 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 There's something rotten in Denmark. <laughs> this one American, let me congratulate you for your enormous accomplishments in creating uh, truly humane societies. Hello. Oh, hello, Senda. Oh, hello. So pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Why is this happy man from this happy country lying to the American people? <laughs> poll after poll seems to suggest that Denmark is one of the happiest countries on earth. Dan, why do you think that is the case? Well, first of all, it's not the weather. <laughs> the short answer is that it's because of the welfare state. We have free healthcare, so you don't pay money when you go to your own normal doctors There's like no co-payments will be called co-payments we have small co-payment on some medicine but then again you can get special help for that if you uh... and you know what our conservative friends will attack us on they people can't go to the doctor that they want in Denmark you can go to the doctor that you want and go to the hospital that you want you even have a right to choose a different hospital than the one that would be normally selected for you if you feel that it's probably better for me to go to another part of the country because I feel that they have a better treatment you can do that let's let's back yeah, it up okay. remember you're talking to mostly an American audience, sure, sure. and they don't believe you, because <laughs> we know that there's no such thing as a free lunch. The next thing you're probably going to tell you is education, if we're in Denmark as well. You see, these guys never stop lying. <laughs> it doesn't cost you anything. We don't pay tuition in Denmark. Actually, if you are a student, you get a grant from the government. Not only is school free, they actually pay you. So it's not free, you pay me to go to college. Basically, yes. Not bad, eh? All right, let me ask you this question. Sure. But our right-wing friends will say, well, that's all great, but you're paying a whole lot in taxes. You're paying a lot in taxes. Talk about that. Well, it's true that we do pay a lot uh, in, in, in tax, but we also get a lot back. You get the security that you know that if something happens to you, you lose your job, you'll get the Social Security. If you get sick, you'll get health care. When you look at it, what you actually get for the money, most people in Denmark, I would argue, are happy to pay the tax that they do. It's a good deal, in other words. It's a good deal. I know that President Trump said that Denmark is probably not that good a place to be a citizen. The White House now released a report in which it warns against Nordic Socialism. Total Socialism! Probably for him, not. For the top 1%, probably better to live in the US. But for the other 99%, the average wage in Denmark are quite a bit higher than the average wage here. For instance, if you work at McDonald's in Denmark and you work at McDonald's in the US, you make less than half in the US of what a McDonald's worker make in Denmark. That's the reality of socialism. A country like Denmark is a country with cohesion, with social capital, with trust among people. Is that the direction that we want to go in? Bernie Sanders likes it. Scandinavia, not just Denmark, but Sweden and Norway and Finland, have accomplished something that they deserve enormous credit for. Think about the long chain of human history and the abysmal poverty that so many people have had to deal with and the lack of education and the lack of health care. But this is not a perfect society. You'd be the first to most mention you have your share of problems and you debate it every day. But that they have gone a long way toward eliminating poverty to provide a secure and decent standard of living for the overwhelming majority of their people, that their people live with a lot less stress than our people do because of that security, is no small thing. It really is not. Well, thank you so much, Senator. And can I also just say that you are highly admired in, in Denmark and we wish you all the luck. Thank you. Thank you very much.